All right, guys, I'm cooking lunch. And as promised a few days back, I'm gonna do a beer review. And I'm making a burger today. I'm adding a little garlic powder and a little crushed red pepper because I want some spice. You hear that sizzling? It smells wonderful too. A couple days ago, I promised I would be doing a review of Bud Light's new orange beer. So I figured for lunch today, since I don't have anywhere to go, I'll have a burger and a beer. You can't beat that. That's like the American way. Now for you young dudes or you novice cookers, I'm going to show you how I make my burgers. So basically my technique is pretty simple. I heat up the pan, maybe put a little pan on it or some oil just to make it easy for you to flip. And I like to alternate after the pan is hot, five minutes aside for two passes. So in essence, almost 20 minutes. Now that may be a little overdone, but I tend to get the nice thick burgers. And that's my routine. I salt, pepper, or any kind of spice up front. Do the initial flip, five and five, on low heat. Low heat, I've found, keeps the juices in and ensures you don't burn the hell out of the burger. Seeded bun, because that's just how I roll, and a little bit of ketchup because I don't have cheese today. I ran out of cheese. Just the way I like it. So I've got some pretty good ingredients for a nice lunch, guys. I've got the burger. I've got a dog, and I have beer. This Bud Light Orange I picked up at Target the other day. I think it was like $6.99 for this. Brewed with real orange peels. So it looked nice and summery or springy. I'm not a big fan of Bud Light, but hey, I have a burger. Might as well try it out for you. One day I'll get around to rebranding the Media Mart test tube reviews because I'm the test dummy for you. I spent my $7, so you don't have to if this isn't good. And I'm just here for you, I'm a service for you. All right, so I've got my burger. And I'm gonna accompany this with a nice beer because it's like American stuff, right? Beer, burger, dog. Working from home? First things first. I'm gonna review my own burger. Look at that. Medium, nice warm pink center. Spiced up with uh, crushed red pepper and some garlic powder and a little bit of salt. Mmm. Nice char on the outside. All right, let's go into what you probably come here for. Bud Light Orange. Does it pass the dummy test? All right, here we go. I'm smelling the peel of the orange. Not really necessarily the orange, but definitely a citrusy smell. Light. Proof is in the pudding. Right up front, guys. You're hit with that orange. And I'm going to have to say I... First blush, I kind of like this. Now, it is a, a watery beer. You taste lots of water. But there's a nice orange citrus flavor right up front. It almost reminds me a little bit of a blue moon, like a watered-down blue moon. On a nice hot day, like today. If you're out at a party, this might not be... It, you really... Taste the orange peel, guys. Really taste the orange peel. And it goes nicely with your dogs and your burger. I give it a thumbs up, a little twist on your traditional Bud Light. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching this quick video. I hope you learned something. And if you didn't, teach me if I did something wrong. Because that's the beauty of YouTube. Everybody's always telling you what you do wrong. Your lab is too weak. You're too weak. You don't know what you're talking about. But let's make it interactive. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you want to see next, guys. I'm here for you. I'm the test dummy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. But remember, remember, keep pushing play, guys. And I'm going to keep eating this burger. Good stuff. Not bad. Not bad today. They even have a snap code, so you know they're going for the millennial types. Keep pushing play.